so welcome back everybody welcome back um yeah so we're back again we're back again with another one with another one um today i want to talk about um universities universities i want to talk about universities uh forgive me for my camera i feel like something is wrong with it today i don't know why it's slow but if it's slow too slow i'll just re-record on another day though but today i want to talk about universities and how you choose a university or college that you want to apply to if you're in south africa you know that uh, there are tivet colleges and there are universities around here and there are private colleges uh private universities i think there is one uh oh it's not official yes i don't, I, I don't know about private universities but how you choose a university there are, there are multiple things that um sometimes cloud the judgment of people like the name of the university uh, as there are some famous universities and there are some who which are less famous than others for instance if you talk about UKZN UKZN is more famous than other universities in in KZN so it, its name is higher it is highly ranked amongst the society and there are others that are outside of KZN for this video is mainly uh, I'm going to be using examples for the universities that are in South Africa uh, the ones I know but as don't choose a university based on uh, based on the rankings it has because there's a lot of things that go into the rankings of a university yes it may be the best uh ranking wise but go deeper than that go deeper than that when you're applying or when you're choosing a university that you want to go to suppose uh a university like uct ranks i don't know where in, in a scale of whatever in the scale they use or uk 10 and uh mangosu to and uh uj and vet what is most important is is that you look into the program that you want to apply for because the thing is uh rankings there's a lot that goes into rankings uh so there's something called the dp rule in south africa or, or something called dp so if if you can to reach the minimum of 40 percent dp then you cannot write an exam you are expelled from we are you cannot write an exam so what that does it's it reduces the number of people that are going to be included in the stats okay some universities use this rule some universities don't but it contributes in the rankings of the university and for universities that have um so you, uh, the other thing that goes into rankings uh, is uh, the publications that that come out of university and uh, the successfulness of the uh, students that come out of the university so other programs other universities have programs different programs like um, medicine for one so for medicine uh, for universities that they have medicine most of the people there uh, are a certain type of certain type of students so it it also affects the rankings of of um their rankings yeah it also affects their rankings so compared to other universities uh, the ones that have medicine in it sometimes rank higher than others the ones that don't have medicine in it and the publications the ones that have the higher publications or qualifications that that are easier to publish in or that have a lot of researchers interested in fields that are in those in that are provided by those universities go into rankings so you knowing the name and checking the rankings of the university won't quite help you as you may think but go in deep and check and check uh check the rankings not the ranking sorry check the program that you want to apply for the modules that they provide um 
how long does it take and the other thing that i really find helpful that i think would be helpful from you also from you look at how many people they are able to take in a year and go look at the graduation video uh, for for the past year or past two years look at the graduation video for the courses that you want look at how many people are graduating from the degree to the master's level to the honors to the master's level like stop their master's is quite good uh one way do doctorate there are smaller people there but look at how many people are graduating in the court and uh, look at how many people they took initially but don't let that that don't let that be the main reason because or that be uh, what drives your fear because uh, some people just uh, drop out some lose interest along the way uh, there's a lot that happens but if you are doing a degree it should if if this i believe like there should be a reasonable reasonable amount of people that are graduating in the school but don't let it be too much don't let it be too little like it cannot be from first year we are taking in uh, 150 students and from in, the ones that are graduating that day are three, like three students in in this in something that you want to study in there's something that's going on there so don't just look at the rankings there's a lot that going goes into choosing a university and uh, for the for civil colleges for civil colleges uh, I didn't attend a civil college um, I would suggest if you're already a person that knows what they want to do and are passionate of what they want to do because some people just some if you're in South Africa maybe you're looking for the Basar scheme NSFAS maybe you can go to a civil college for that purpose but if we you have to choose them wisely too some civil colleges in the past I have heard uh, have been having issues of leaking papers and restarting like I know follows if I'm not mistaken uh, follows college in it's follows right and they, yeah it's follows in um, had problems like that papers keep on linking they started people never got their degrees and um, yeah there are some like that oh almost forgot make sure if you are going to a college you check if they are registered because there are some people who have been doing degrees for three years four years and only to find that their certificates are not legit because the university the college they went to wasn't legit this happens to at uh, civil colleges you can find out if they're legit or not because they're government colleges i believe but private colleges those are a little bit tricky and uh, they will eat your money if they are expensive but if you can pay just make sure what you are studying there uh, is, is registered i forgot the name of where it's supposed to be registered but you will do your part and google it or use your, your browsing skills to to find out if it's registered or not the degree you want to do because some degrees uh, people just you know and the other thing if possible try to find people that study the thing that you want to study at the university there are multiple ways to get this but uh, the one I would recommend is LinkedIn you can find a lot of people on LinkedIn uh, it also says where they studied I'm just not sure if uh, you can search the university in which they studied it. I know it appears in in their bio, but searching it as a keyword, but I do believe that it will show. Just go check it out. If uh, you find someone, make sure uh, to connect with them and uh, try to gain knowledge. Make sure it's a graduate. Uh, you get people on different levels and just, don't just get one person because maybe you get a second year who doesn't like to study and who likes complaining and they will give you a wrong impression but go in deep on the degree that you want to do and make sure you understand 
where you are going with the degree don't just do it because it's popular and a lot of people are talking about it like in this day and age people are talking about robotics people are talking about um people are talking about a lot of things robotics computer science i know i talk about computer science because i did it but does computer science agree with you ask yourself that question to what extent or what expense do are you willing to do computer science or mathematics or statistics or anything that is buzzing because of the fourth revolution it's not only the computer side that's going to make it in the future there are also other things that are also going to make it because there are still developing countries that are going to take some time to get where uh, you want to go or where they want to go or get to the point of the fourth revolution things so for this for me what you need to check when um you are checking at an university or college till the next time hope this video is good though i hope this video is good peace and love